Today we're going to talk about how to draw eyes, give you some tips to make them seem more alive in your drawing. Now the first issue is that a lot of people don't draw eyes in the right shape. Uh, oftentimes if you're going to draw an eye, you're going to see people, they draw roughly a football circles, maybe they put a dark circle in the middle, and they'll put some eyelashes on there. That's not what an eye looks like. We don't want to be like that. Okay? First thing to remember with eyes is that they do come in lots of shapes and varieties, so the best bet is to actually look at some eyes when you're drawing it. But there is some general shapes and ideas for what you can use. So starting at the inside corner of the eye, we're going to go up high and then gently loop away. And the bottom, we're going to start the opposite side and do the opposite. We're going to come down and gently come in. And then in the corner of the eye, a little square. That's actually where your third eye head used to be. Look it up. All right. Now, so we've got a steep slope, gentle slope to the outside edge, and on the outside edge, steep dip, and then gently rise back up to that corner. Now, the other thing about the eye is that the eye itself, the iris, does not rest exactly in the middle. It's a circle, but it's a little high in the eye. You can often see the bottom of it, but you can't see the top of the circle. All right? And then the pupil is going to follow that same flow. Then you really need to think about that eyelid. All right. You can see I'm drawing kind of light because an eyelid's going to come in. It's going to follow that same basic idea. Then I can come back and I can erase out some parts. All right. And then to really make that eye come alive, we want to put it in what's called a moisture spot. All right. The idea is that when you blink, your eye is adding a layer of moisture to it so they don't dry out. And that moisture reflects any kind of light that's coming at it. So generally, in a lot of places you're going to see, maybe they'll just do it as a circle. It's the reflection should really take the shape of the light source. So a circle would be maybe a light bulb. If you had windows, that would be kind of a a rectangle. And the idea is we don't want to draw there. Now when I come in with my darker pencil, I'm going to get the pupil. And remember that circle, that moisture spot, was where I didn't want to draw. Okay, I leave that as a nice bright highlight. And then oftentimes with the eyes, you got kind of a ring for the iris, and then you got various lines of color shooting away from that pupil, and then a little darker on that outside. And then we really do want to think about usually the light source is coming from above, so that eyelid's going to give us a little bit of a shadow. Now, when it comes to eyelashes, beginning artists always want to draw each individual line. But really, for eyelashes, we want to think of them more as a form, as a clump. Yeah, adjust that as a little bit. Okay. And we don't even need to have them go the entire width of the eye to get a sense of what they're doing. They're thicker line. And, yeah. And you can always come back in and darken some things up. Now, again, eyes are going to take different shapes, different forms. You can start with that basic form. It's going to go the opposite way this time. And kind of like what we said with 
noses, the more lines you use, the older the person's going to look. And you just want to carefully follow those steps. Again, think about where the eyelids might be, the color of the eyes. Maybe someone has got much, much darker eyes. You don't want to highlight the eyelashes quite so much. Again, extra lines, going to make them seem older. But no matter what, look at the shape, think about where the eyelids are, and use that moisture drop to make those eyes come more alive. Happy drawing!